Hi guys, what is up? Today I am going to be going over my 2018 favorite beauty products. So I'm going to be discussing that with you guys in my video. I didn't really test out a whole lot of products in 2018 just because I went on that year hiatus so I didn't really start makeup back up again until like September so I'm just gonna go over what I've been using since September and a lot of it's just like my ride or die products that I use some of them are not cruelty free so this is probably the last time they're gonna be mentioned on my channel not that they're not good products but because they're not cruelty free I'm not gonna be using them anymore and I will go over that with you guys when I'm talking about the product specifically if you guys are new to my channel, hello and welcome to my channel. Thank you guys for clicking on this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below to join the family. I am going to be coming up with a name for you guys soon, so let me know what you guys want to be named. I kind of have like a general idea of what I want to do, but... Let me know your guys' suggestions in the comments down below. But yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video. Alright, so for this video, I am just going to go in order of how I would do my routine. So I would do skincare first, and then I would apply my makeup. So I'm just going to go in order of my routine. Okay, so we're going to start with what I use to wash my face. So what I've been using this year to wash my face is the Body Shop Tea Tree. And this is a facial wash and I seriously love using this. It is cruelty free and vegan which is a bonus for me. But what I love so much about this one specifically is that it doesn't dry out my skin. And I think that is very perfect when it comes to finding a face wash for me and it has tea tree oil in it so that is another amazing bonus and I'll use this to wash my skin every day and with that I also use the clay mask that they have and this one I don't use it every day I use it maybe twice a week at most it's a clay mask so it kind of like dries out my skin a little bit but it really does a awesome job at helping minimize my blemishes now to tone my face, I have two different options for you guys. The first toner that I'm going to talk about is the Lancome Tonic Comfort. And this is a perfect rehydrating, comforting toner for dry skin. And this has been my ride or day for the past couple years. And it's not cruelty free, unfortunately. So this is probably the last time that I'm going to be using this product. It's almost done. So I'm in the process of finding a new toner. I have Witch Hazel that I want to test out and I haven't tested it out yet, but that's on my list of things to test out. That's cruelty free. I also have the Pacifica Cactus Water Toner and it's been working really well with my skin. This is also cruelty free and vegan. So if you guys are looking for that specific type of product, this works pretty well for my skin. But yeah, I haven't had any issues so far with this product. And for moisturizer, I've been using the Tatcha the silk cream and this is for normal to dry skin and this is a weightless anti-aging moisture rich silk extract and this is not cruelty free unfortunately so I'm really like upset because Tatcha is like such an amazing brand and I really love their products a lot but they're not cruelty free and that makes me really sad you guys. But this is a really amazing product if you guys have dry skin and you're not looking for a cruelty free product you guys should definitely check this out because it's amazing the price point though might shock you guys so i'm not gonna tell you but but a cruelty free option that i have been using pretty frequently for the past few months in 2018 is the pacifica day and night face cream and this is good for all skin types it is a transient aging restore radiant and it has some antioxidants in there so it's good for the skin and I do put this on twice a day so the only thing that I'm not so on board for is the smell the smell is a little bit weird but other than that I do like using this product and at the end of the day to take all my makeup off I do use the Clinique take off the day cleansing oil this it's not cruelty free unfortunately, but it is such an amazing product and it's 
so easy to take off my makeup with this. It just makes it so much easier. One trick that I do like doing is taking my makeup wipes and squirting some of this on it. And it just makes everything more simple to take off my makeup instead of like, I don't know. It's like an easy, lazy way hack, if that makes any sense. Try it out and let me know what you guys think. I do have a cruelty-free option for cleansing oil that I'm going to be testing out this year that I haven't tested out in 2018, so I'm not going to mention it in this video because I haven't tested it out yet. Alright, so now we're going to dive into the makeup portion of this video, and like I said, I haven't really jumped into makeup until like September of last year, so that's only like, what... It's only like four months worth of makeup. Bear with me on the limited amount of products that I've used. There's been a couple things that I tried that are new, but the remainder are kind of like my ride or die staples. So I'm gonna be mentioning those in here for you guys. All right, so we're gonna be starting off with primers. All right, so my holy grail this year for primers has been the Hourglass Mineral Gel Primer. I really love this because it's super universal. Like I can use this for any skin type, whether it's dry, normal, oily combination. Like this, this works amazingly with any skin type that I work on. It just has like amazing results. It just really helps make the makeup application look flawless and smooth. So that's why I really love using this on my clients and on myself. So let's go ahead and go into foundation. So for foundation, I have a couple that I have used this year. One of them is a new thing that I've tried and the other thing is something that I've tried in the past and I retried this year. The Born This Way Foundation by Too Faced is something that I tried maybe five or six years ago and for some reason I felt like I hated it. So I don't know why I would hate it, but I retried it this year and I think it's amazing. Like I feel like my skin looks so beautiful and natural and this is medium to full coverage so you can really choose the type of coverage that you want. It's great for any skin type so it's very versatile and I'm pretty sure that Too Faced is cruelty free. And then I've finally tried the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation which is also cruelty free and this looks beautiful on my skin as well and I get like once again I get to choose the coverage that I want which is amazing. The only thing that I'm not super on board with is that it's a little more matte than I would like but I still love how beautiful it makes my skin look. So let's move on to concealers. I have a couple concealers that I've tried this year and I really like. So the first one being the Born This Way Naturally Radiant Concealer and it's exactly what it says it does. It's natural looking and radiant and I feel like this in combination with the foundation it's just like the ultimate, like I feel super confident with this combination. Another concealer that I have used this year that I feel like I haven't really heard anyone talk about or seen any videos with someone talking about this or using this product specifically and that is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. It kind of has a matte finish but I feel like this really is creaseless. I'll put this on and then I will set it with powder and it just look, looks really amazing underneath my eyes. It seriously does not crease up and I really don't understand why I haven't really been hearing anything about this product. And to set my concealer I do use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This has been my ride or die for the past couple years. It doesn't dry out my skin when I apply it to set my foundation and everything. So I really like using this powder to set my face. And then for highlighting and contour, a new thing that I found this year is the Morphe. And this is the Lo-Fi palette. It's the like lighter version. And then there's like another version with darker shades. So I really do like using this palette to contour and then highlight. I really like using this one. This one has like a purple undertone. This one is more yellow gold. And then you got these for your more darker skin tones that looks really beautiful on like. And then you have your contour shades. So yeah, I really do love using this for my contour and highlight. And then moving on to eyeshadows, I have a couple that I've tested out this year. This one I actually got a couple years back and it's the Carly by Bell palette with BH Cosmetics and this is also cruelty free. I didn't start using it till this year for some reason but I've been using it a lot with doing bridal work and stuff like that so it really looks beautiful when I'm doing bridal eyeshadows. And then 
the Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Vault collection came out and I had to get my hands on it. Like I got her the first palette she did with them, the Jaclyn Hill palette. And I really love using that on my brides as well. Like it's just this beautiful thing that she created and it's perfect and super versatile. And then she came out with the Vault collection and I seriously love these shadows in here. They're so gorgeous. Like, I literally used Dark Magic to create the perfect black smoky look. That was the last tutorial that I did on my channel. So you guys should definitely check it out. But yeah, I used this palette specifically to do that. And it came out so beautiful. And the blending and everything is just perfect. And Morphe is cruelty free, so I'm glad that I don't have to give them up. And then you have the Armed and Gorgeous palette, which is just, like, beautiful for fall. Like, it's a bunch of browns and oranges and greens and it's just so beautiful guys and then we got bling boss and this is just like a bunch of like purples and burgundies and this has been one of my go-to palettes just because I really do love the shade hush hush like it's just like such a perfect transition shade or like if I'm just like in a hurry and I just only am putting on a couple of shades like I'll use this shade a lot because it really makes my eyes pop out because I have green eyes. So I love using that palette for when I'm on the to go. And then the last palette in this collection is the Ring the Alarm and it's just so stunning. And it's just like a lot of muted browns and reds and it's just gorgeous. And then for eyelashes, this has been like my like ride or die for the past couple years and it is the Idler Wispies. And these are so light on your eyelids. So that's one thing I like because I hate a heavy lash they're kind of like a dramatic natural but they also have dramatic lashes as well and I really do love a dramatic lash you guys but this one is like the perfect whimsical natural looking lash so that's something that I would use on a daily basis when it like comes to like going to work and stuff and then for setting spray I do use the morphe prep and set and this has like a seriously the mist is super fine seriously like it's super even. It smells good too. Like I really love using it. And then I'll also use the Urban Decay Chill Setting Spray. This is to help hydrate my face as well. Once again, because I have dry skin, like it's super dry. So I love using this to help keep it hydrated, but so at the same time. And it's amazing. For like lip products, I've been using a lot of ColourPop lately. I love using a lot of nudes, but ColourPop has like been one of my go-tos lately. Like it doesn't dry out my lips and it doesn't get all like nasty looking because some liquid lips and stuff like that they get kind of nasty looking but these don't and they're inexpensive so that is another like awesome quality about them all right so that just wraps it up for my 2018 favorite beauty products skincare and makeup if you guys enjoyed this video please be sure to give it a thumbs up let me know if you guys liked it and what favorite products you guys had for 2018. I want to know what your favorite products were last year. So leave a comment down below. I really didn't want to put makeup on in this video because like my skin's been acting up a lot. And then I have this giant ass pimple right here and it's not attractive and it hurts. I figured I didn't want to agitate it by putting makeup on my skin. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And my next video is just going to be a life update of everything that has been happening the past month. Like, it's it's been super crazy this past month. Mentally draining and everything. So, I posted a poll on Instagram and Twitter what video you guys wanted to see first. Whether it was a updated 50 facts if you guys wanted to see a life update about the past month of what's been going on and you guys want a life update. So I'm going to have that up for you guys next week. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm also going to be doing a tutorial for Valentine's Day. Let me know if you guys want to see a dramatic look or if you guys want to see a simple look. I did a simple Valentine's tutorial a couple of years ago that is still up on my channel for you guys to view if you guys want to see that. So I might be leading something towards dramatic. My Twitter poll right now is everyone wanting to see a dramatic look, so we will see. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace out.